look at my backup camera you guys because the raindrops are on it you can barely see out of it good morning everyone it is friday i am at walmart but i am about to leave walmart i ran a few errands this morning and i'm actually about to run a few more before i go home so i wanted to go to dollar tree and then i found out we have a dollar general here in sacramento there's one that i know of but it's in a not so very good part of town but i am going to go there just to see what they have and then what else what else do i have to do today um nothing so i don't know um i do have to go to the post office to mail a package so i'm actually going to do that right now i am just waiting for savannah to get out of school but the store is family dollar, not dollar general. I think that's what I told you guys earlier. Okay, call me bougie or whatever, I don't know, but when stores are in disarray and things are just thrown all over the place and not really neat and tidy like it should be, I don't know, I don't like to look in stuff like that. Sometimes Ross, I don't like to shop at Ross because you have to hunt and search for what you want and there's clothes on the floor and I don't like that. So this place was kind of the same way. So I pretty much walked in, walked in a circle in the store and walked out and I was just, I couldn't do it. Okay, you guys know how before I was Ray Dunn crazy, I was so crazy for Ray Dunn and I would get anything Ray Dunn, right? And today I went to Home Goods, not looking for Ray Dunn. I just wanted to stop there to see what they had, not for Ray Dunn, just other stuff. But I always still go to the section where they put Ray Dunn things just to see if they have anything that I don't have that I may want. I went down the aisle where they had a bunch of Ray Dunn stuff and oh my God, I went crazy. This was the most Ray Dunn items I've seen other than the mugs and bowls. I've seen so many items there, things that I have and things that I just never seen in the store. So I started going crazy, putting all this stuff in the basket. And then I'm just like, wow. And I'm looking around like there's no one else that's going to come here and get this stuff. And before when I was in my little Ray Dunn craze, you guys, I would barely find stuff in the store. When I did find stuff, I would always meet someone in the store looking for Ray Dunn also, and we always chit chat or something like that. Today, people were coming by looking and turning around. They were like, meh. And I'm like, is the Ray Dunn craze, is it over? Or are people just not going looking for it anymore? Because, you know, it's hard to find. Or maybe they're bringing a bunch out because it's getting close to Christmas. So that's what I think. I don't know. But after I started walking around the store, I'm like, this is ridiculous. I don't need all this stuff just because it's Ray Dunn and hard to get. So I put most of the stuff back. I did get two items and I will show you guys that later when um, I get home. I actually have it in the back. You see the bag that's sticking up? Yeah. Um, I actually have it in the back there. So yeah, that was my morning and then i went to the post office and yeah now i'm waiting for savannah to get out of school i want to go get wonton soup it is not raining or anything like that but i want wonton soup so that's what we are going to go get she doesn't know it yet but we're having wonton soup for dinner so we are inside wonderful restaurant getting our sorry my hand was in the way picking up our wonton soup so these are the items that I got from Home Goods today. It's a mug that says vacay. And even though I have the mug that says vacay, it's a small script. This one I like better. And this one says work. And I can take my coffee to work in this. And this right here, it says chow down. Technically it's a dog dish, but you guys know I'll use these for when people come over, salsa, chips, or anything like that. So yeah, these are the only two things that I got from Home Goods today that was Ray Dunn. And this was $8, and this was $15. So yeah, isn't this cute, Savannah? That teacher has... Um... So earlier today at Walmart, I found these peppermint candy spoons, and we are about to make hot chocolate. Remember I told you guys that Savannah loves hot chocolate and marshmallows? So that's what she's about to have, and she's totally happy. Okay, here's the hot chocolate. It looks really dark. I used milk, and now I'm using the spoon. Oh my gosh, these girls. And now I'm using the spoon in it, you guys. 
hold on they're being <laughs> annoying savannah stick broke <laughs> of course it's gonna break it's hot that's why i didn't want my milk boiling hot and I didn't so want it either. well you got it oh, yeah i forgot the marshmallows the so i do have marshmallows in here a little bit of whipped cream and here is the spoon and mine has not broken or anything so Ooh, yeah so savannah's senior project got approved she's happy do your kids have to do a senior project in 12th grade so she has to do a senior project and technically she doesn't have to do it but if she doesn't do it then her grade in just english or everything English will go down and she won't be able to go to any of the senior activities so her senior project you have to get it approved you have to choose something to do you have to learn how to do something or I don't know something like that and I don't even know how would you title yours she is volunteering at an no you're not volunteering well you're volunteering your time She's okay, collecting. She is going to collect donations for an animal shelter or something like that. I'll give you guys more detail when I fully understand it, but anyway, that got approved for her to do that today. So.